Okay, I'm here. It's similar but different. Similar but different. They're making me feel some of the symptoms very careful. And someone either had a tumor in the head or they had a swelling in the head. With all respect, but it has a different feeling than that. A slightly different feeling. Slightly different. I don't want to hurt you. Are you okay? Are these children, family, sisters, brothers? Family? With all respect. I, I'm going to say a few things. It's almost matching in a very unusual way to her father. The impact to the head, but it has more of like a pressure in it. Like a swelling around the brain that keeps that keeps this. I want to say it in English. It's got like a pulse, like a in my head, and they're trying to diffuse it. They're trying to get rid of it. They're trying to soften it. They're trying to lighten it. But at some point, the medical people must have said, "There's not much more we can do." Does that ring a bell? Yes. Yes. The reason why I'm saying it, and I don't mean to be a pest, but I want you to understand, I wouldn't want to be tricked either. Believe me. You could have said, no, 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 no. It was a gunshot at distance, and that was it, and they died immediately. That's not here. It's got a little bit of a different feeling. In this family, is this from young, this young woman older? Are you with them too young? Okay, I'm just asking. I just want to make sure. Because they call them like a box, like a rectangle. Where does the cop come in or the fireman come in? Are you on the job? Husband? Crossed over? Still present. Would that be your dad? Okay, I'm not trying to make an issue. I don't want anybody to get upset with me. But if the soul is talking to me about either their father, like that. And with all respect, they're talking not just about a male figure that happens to be a, a working guy. They're telling me about either the fireman or the police officer. Because they're showing me a shield in my head. And I know what those look like. Believe me. All right? So I'm just telling you what I'm saying. So with all respect, sometimes relationships don't always work out. And we pull up on and we kind of you know, we pick up the pieces. This has the feeling of someone looking for the husband through the mother. And the person with the swelling in the head, with the impact of the head, and I don't mean to keep pointing backwards with this. They keep doing it. It's almost like there was a gathering like this. Correct? Yes? No? I think, and I said before, 9-11 doesn't have a gathering. Boston didn't have a gathering, right? It was, they were dead, and then they grieved afterwards. But here there's almost like a farewell, like a sense of family, hugging, kissing, touching, like this. This has a young adult feeling to me. Does that make sense? Not a great-grandmother or something like that, which, you no know, minimizing. Do you have a child that has crossed? Or a nephew or a niece that have passed? That's crossed over. But this is not the same soul. This is a different soul. This soul keeps telling me it's in their head. And they keep telling me either you held them or someone held them as they physically died. Did you hold them? She's going yes, you're going no. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to, what's your first name? Well, I, I'm, I'm Susan. Okay, Susan, listen to me. Listen to me. People go into a hospital, right? Or at home in a bed, whatever. And they give them ice, they, they wash their face, they put the TV on, they put the Yankee game on, they lower the blinds, they try to put the slippers on their feet, whatever the story is to make them feel better, right? And then the person lapses and everybody's crying and you kiss them goodbye. I got it. And then you have a person more here that they're trying to come back and they can't. And they're telling me the doctor said there's nothing more we can do. That's the key to this. That's the key to this reading. And they're making me feel with all respect that someone held this person in their arms and held them as they died. That's the difference. And it feels to me like they, they wouldn't let go of them. Would not let go. Does that ring a bell? It does. I'm sorry. How are they connected to you? That's why they keep making me look at you. I didn't understand. Margaret is home. Who's Margaret, Mary, Marie? Not that near family. They could be living. Who's Maggie? Margaret. Give me a second. Maggie. Molly. Who's Molly? Molly, my dog. I, I heard her and said no. They can refer to it with pets, but it's not what I'm hearing. 
there's a reference to Mimi, Maggie, Missy. It's got that M sound in my head. You sure? Okay, I'm going to disagree with you. Because either through that woman's family, there's more. I know what I'm saying. And I'm going to say something else to you guys, too. Admit with all respect to this family. Was there a young woman pregnant at the time when someone died? No, a different one. Well, let's be fair. And every family, babies are born, every family, people die, right? But then you have that unique intersection where someone's having a baby and people are picking out names and painting walls and buying baby clothes and everybody's happy as all get out, right? And then during that same cycle, in that little nine-month window, someone crosses. Does that ring a bell? Was that with you? Were you carrying her on someone close? All right. Oh my God, yes, I'm right. Are you sure? Who was pregnant when someone died? I wasn't pregnant first. I had just had her. It's got to be days or weeks. It's got to be very brief. Not years. I'm talking short. With that memory, no, I'm dead in the water. My grandfather died when I was pregnant with Tina. All right, let's go back and do it again. Say that a little louder. Her grandfather, which is my sister-in-law's father, go ahead. passed when, when I was pregnant with her. That's why I asked you. They told me you were pregnant with her. That's why I pointed it out before you said it. You could go the way. I'm just letting you know what I'm hearing. And that soul comes in in union with, or cooperation with, the person of the head, which is your mother-in-law I'm taking it, correct? Mother. Well, your mother, with all respect to you. I'm going to say something. What's your name? Heather. Heather. What's your first name again with, Heather? Mm -hmm. Oh, I asked you who the H was, no? Mm -hmm. oh, that was that yeah. <laughs> My apologies. I'm off the hook. You're off the hook. It just trailed into my head. It's okay. I'm sorry. My, my mistake. I'm sorry. My, I said the maybe's and mom. I apologize. Were you holding your mother as she crossed? And let's be clear. And I don't mean to hurt your heart. It's not unusual for people to sit in a chair nearby. You're out having a cigarette, you smoke, have a cell phone, you're watching the news, you're just trying to get your, your composure back, your heart's breaking, you're sobbing, you're trying to take a nap, right? Sound familiar? And then all of a sudden you get to that, 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 that moment where you get into bed, or you lean over that and you pick them up like this, and you say, I'm not going to let go of you until it's over. That's you. And I'm going to say something else to you. Someone right here was buried in a dress that was worn to the wedding, and they were buried in it. Who was buried in the dress worn to the wedding on the 1000th of December? Okay, counting on My mother was buried in the dress that she wore on her granddaughter's wedding. Okay, if you're going, no, she's going, yes. With all respect, I know what I'm hearing, and I'm not trying to talk into what I'm hearing. People, my friends of the Jewish faith, who are the best friends on earth, people in this tradition get buried in a shroud. My father in a suit. I meet people that get buried in pajamas, bathing suits, hockey jerseys, Marine Corps uniforms, military dress. There's hundreds of variations on how people go to earth. And the soul comes in and says, I was in the dress, worn to the wedding. And I come in as a man who, with all respect, you were pregnant with this beautiful young woman, and you couldn't get there as he was dying. And the woman comes in and says, I'm dying of this in my head. They can't help me. It's in my head. They try to shunt. They try to drain. They try something. Yes or no? And it feels like your sister or her mother. And held her until death comes. Got it? What they're doing is telling me a story to let you know that what you hope is true is true. That your sister is at peace. That she comes to her child, she comes to her family. <coughs> She's aware of the fact, with all respect, that you and your, your husband are not together to fire them. And she just shares it. Not to break up, not to make heartache, just to tell you the story of the family. So you guys think, where the hell is this guy getting this from? 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.